don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to the local food banks if you want to help out the duck adventure the link below 50 ducks on a hot tub you can buy one of these t-shirts you can donate monthly you can make one-time donation and the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it guys good morning everybody and welcome to the duck adventure again really early i think it's october the 11th the ducks are doing it again. They're at the center of the, the pen, except this time, I heard the Canada geese fly over the house. And when they flew over the house and they were uh, doing their honking, the ducks just lost it. Actually, it was a combination uh, of both uh, noises, the uh, Canada goose, geese flying over honking and my ducks losing it. So what's happening is that there are Canada geese flying into the lake here in the middle of the night and it's freaking the ducks out. Because look at them. The pen's empty at the other end. There's not a duck down at the other end. The water's empty. No one's playing in the water. They're all sleeping at this end, freaked out. Because the Canada geese are flying over. So when we do the shotgun run in the morning, I'm going to go down to the lake. Actually, I'm going to go down to the dock. And we'll see what, uh, when I shoot it off, what flies off the lake. The noise started at 3. It's 4.30. I'm getting up. I'm hot. I can't take the noise. And it's warming up, so I have to have my window open. Because uh, I can actually feel the warm air coming. The temperature is going up today. We're having a little bit of a break from the cold, damp weather. Oh, I'm gonna go have a copy. This dog, he's unbelievable. He's half asleep sitting here. He does, oh, he's scratching at me. You're such a sweetie, Doug. He doesn't want to get up. You tired, Dougie? It's early, isn't it? You gonna go back to sleep? You gonna sleep at the top of the stairs, dog? Duck. 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 Ducky. Doug. Duck. Duck. Doug. You're not coming downstairs, are you? You sleep up here while I have my coffee. Are you coming out, Doug? Do you want to think about it? Nope, you're coming. Oh, amazing. Look at that. As soon as they saw me come out, they got excited. It's absolutely gorgeous out, guys. It's already uh, like 13 degrees. It's supposed to go to 19 today. Um, I'm a little bit behind. I'm about 40 minutes late uh, from normal time letting the ducks out. I'm going to go down and do a quick couple shots with the shotgun um, and then we'll let the ducks out. I've got a big day today. I'm cleaning the sheds out and we got some good news. Um, the Ottawa Citizen uh, did a story. Uh, they released it either last night, late last night or it was this morning. I'll put a link below the video to the story uh, but it's more exposure and they clearly said that you know we need help on the fundraiser so it's right on. They came through so that's a start. Um, that's actually really a good start on uh, some exposure because you know the Ottawa Citizen is uh, you know the biggest paper actually it's the only paper in the Ottawa area so uh, it's got to get us some more help here I want to go down like I said I'm gonna do a couple shots I've had far too many coffees because I've been up really really early so it's it's gonna be a long day today they went out really bad I don't blame them it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day to go to the lake Well, if there's any critters here, they should be gone. Oh, there's my dog. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> You'd think he just woke up, which he did. <laughs> Doug, you're a silly dog. Good morning, Dougie. I wonder if they're going to uh, go straight to the lake or not for us. They should. 
Bubba coming over the gate. Some went over to the small gate. I had to hold the gate open because the wind picked up right when I swung it open. And I, uh, I didn't want to screw up the rush because they, they were really wanted out bad, actually. Well, I was standing right here in the gate and they were walking by me like I wasn't there. All right, ducks, we'll let you out. the confused ones inside the pan guys. Oh. oh man, oh man. Look at them. Oh ducks. They see their friends. It's like, oh we want to go that direction, but you can't. There's wire. really calm this morning. All right, Duff, what are you doing? You going to the lake? Doug, Doug, get back here. Come here. Come here, Doug. No, 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 relax. Come here, dog. Hey. All the wind's coming off the lake today. Which would be a good day for me to sit in the uh, coyote blind and, and blow my uh, jackrabbit distress collar off. Which I might do that, guys, because I'm actually, because I was up so early today. Doug! Doug! Because I was up so early today and uh, for some reason woke up wide awake when the ducks woke me up. I, uh, I'm actually, I got my episode already edited and it's already uploading. I've just got to do the update uh, video for the fundraiser. Doug! Doug! Hey! You know, he knows he's not supposed to do that, and I call his name, and you can see him put the brakes on. Oh, crow. He's a crow. Hey, Doug, you gotta calm down, man. Yeah, there is a crow flying behind us. Alright, so that's not doing anything, guys. <laughs> Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to, uh, I want to get the buildings cleaned out today. I'm going to clean out the uh, the barn and the uh, the shed, fresh straw. And uh, I'm going to the lake today. I'm going to go spend some time with the ducks on the water because it's supposed to be like 19 degrees and sunny today. So it's going to be gorgeous in the sun, which I want to spend some time on the lake and get some, you know, some epic footage down there. Because it's, uh, you know, time's running out, guys. October 22nd. I can't believe how fast it's coming. It's, uh, it's blown me away, actually. The time is literally flying right now. I just woke these Muscovies up. I'm walking in the pen doing my rounds here. 
and they were fast asleep. They're such pretty birds. Come here, doggy. <laughs> okay, you got these ducks freaked out. Come on, ducks, out of the pen. Dog, back, back, dog, dog, dog. Okay, Doc, why would you come back into the pen? Go out the door! Oh, 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 oh man, there's always some thick ones. Oh, that's that little male. That's actually the male that's in the uh, the video with the Ottawa Citizen. This little duck is so small. <laughs> Look at that, it doesn't get right up to him. He's such a tiny little duck. I don't know, the underdogs always get a, you know, I get a soft spot. I don't know what it is. He's so uh, fragile. He's not, allowed, he's not long for the world, guys. Something's wrong with him? He's really, really weak. But, you know, he's still trucking along here. I think he's just a runt. A really, really skinny, skinny runt. Because I'm telling you, there's nothing on him when you're holding him. He's just a bag of bones. Just a little tiny, tiny duck. Plus, I noticed with his head, um, his um, uh, the uh, feathers on his head are really fluffy. They're not sleek like the uh, the mature ducks are. Yes, little duck. Just relax. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Doug won't touch you. Well, he won't hurt you anyway. He might touch you, smell you, lick you, accidentally step on you. What a dog! Oh, he's giving him a lick. Oh, Dougie, you're so cute. Okay. While I'm in there paying attention to that cute little duck, they're doing a rush to the lake. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. They're getting faster and faster at going to the water. Mo's hanging with some adolescent males here, which pretty soon he'll start pounding on them because he's got to be the dominant one. What a big duck. All right, I'll follow the ducks to the lake here. And then uh, I'm going to go and clean the buildings up because I've got to get the, the building. Doug! 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 Come here! Pay attention to me. Come here! Let's get behind the duck. Doug! My God, dog! Come here! You've been so good, calm this morning, and then you're going brain dead on me here. Oh, this going to try to fly here. Doug! Doug! Come here! Come here, dog. Hey. Yes, you look cute. But you're not listening. Stay behind here. I can't believe how nice it is already. The sun's just, uh, it feels almost tropical uh, with the cool breeze and the warm sun hitting your face. It's a, it's a bizarre sensation actually, guys. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be down here today with the boat. That's my plan. Unless something goes weird. Doug, come over here. Come on, Doug. Over here. Stick to the side here. Let the ducks have some room. Oh, Doug, no! Come here! Come here, Doug! Doug! Come here! Come! Doug, come! Don't make me call you multiple times. It makes you look stupid at the camera. Come here! Come here! Come here, Doug! 
It's just a flying duck. Hey, okay, you good. Let's give everybody uh, some room here. We got the geese behind us. Unfortunately, I can't run the... Oh, I'm going to try to run the zoom here with my little finger. Because I've got Doug uh, by the scruff of the neck here. Just in case uh, we got some more Muscovy flying action. He, uh, he thinks the flying Muscovies are uh, seagulls. It's only that makes any sense, being white. And we know what Doug thinks of seagulls. Actually, Doug doesn't like anything that flies. He's just got a thing about, you know, things flying. Oh, sort of like a bad camera there, guys. I'm trying to do a pan around here. Watch for flying ducks behind me and hold Doug at the same time. It's really multitasking big time. Okay, Doug, don't do that. Ooh, one fingered zoom here with my little finger. I'm getting pretty good with this. Okay, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any flying action here behind me. No, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any flying action. Look at this, they're flying, they're walking down today. Look at this. Unbelievable. Hey, something else is happening, you know. Sounds like a hurricane out here on the lake. Okay, what's causing the ducks to all come back? Oh, Canada geese on the lake. Look at that. They're totally freaked out. This is how far away the Canada geese are. Look at this. They're on the other side of the lake. And that's causing the ducks to freak out on this side of the lake. Unbelievable, these ducks are. But you know, that's what's causing them to be freaked out in the middle of the night. Listen to the geese, they're losing it here. Oh, look who's sneaking up behind me here. <laughs> Unbelievable. You, the wind is like, it feels like a hairdryer blowing on me. It's so nice. Look at this. They're, they're, they don't know what to do. Come on by. I'm going to go get the shotgun, guys, and uh, let some more rounds go. So the Canada geese leave the lake. Because they, uh, they actually should have left when I fired those four shots, but... Okay, Doug, come on by so I can go uh, get the shotgun and scare these Canada geese away. Because I know what'll happen is that the ducks are going to come right back to the yard. And today is not the day I... Actually, they come back to the yard, I'll, I'll, Doug and I will force them back to the lake. They're not going to be staying in the yard uh, when it's this nice out. Okay, ducks, go to the water. Oh, let's go be flying. I didn't use the zoom that time, guys, because I'm, uh, I tried to stay focused on the duck. Because honestly, guys, when I'm videoing for you, it's actually Braille. I'm, I'm uh, totally guessing. Because this little tiny three-inch screen, 99% uh, of the time, I don't know what I'm, I'm videoing. Actually, when I'm editing, that's when I discover what I've captured for you guys. A lot of the times, uh, my... I basically, it's like a red dot sight. I go by the white dot in the middle of the screen. And if I see a white dot in the middle of the screen, then I know I've got it pointed in the right place. This is what happens when you get old, eh? your eyesight goes. Duck really uh, wants to go with the ducks. Dougie, leave the duck alone. You gonna jump across? The creek getting wider. You can't jump across like you used to. You know, think about it. Last year, guys, Doug was jumping back and forth across the creek like a jackrabbit. <laughs> I 
Oh, Doug. Oh, we got ducks sneaking up behind me all over the place here. I hear a bunch of ducks trapped in the pen. There's Limpy. The Limpy Muscovy. Oh, there's Sidewinder. Let's look at his neck. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. Okay, this is bizarre. There's no ducks at this end. It's absolutely silent down here. Except for the traffic behind me. Okay, this is bizarre. They're swimming down towards where the Canada geese were. But they were originally freaked out because the Canada geese were on the lake. Oh yeah, there's nobody at this end of the lake at all. Oh, the Muscovy's flying across the lake. Wasting no time. Why swim? They're all down there. Just swimming like mad ducks. Like, look at them going the way they swim. It's like they're possessed. I'm still gonna fire off a couple rounds just in case there's geese. Doug, don't do that. You're making, making a dog move here. And... All jiggling, guys, courtesy of Doug again. What a beautiful day to be at the lake, though. It's too dangerous standing at the end of the dock with Doug. It's, uh, <laughs> it's only four foot wide dock, so you know, when you got 137 pounds on one side of it, and you know, it's sort of like everything tilts one way, and it's like you're going in. I'm gonna fire off a couple rounds here uh, just to make sure that uh, there's no can of geese here. Then I'm gonna go clean the barn out and the shed out and uh, get some things happening here today so I can get on the water with the ducks. Well, that didn't work. I just fired off four rounds and the can of geese are sitting in the water down there. Usually when you start discharging rounds, they leave. And my ducks don't really don't care. You shoot the shotgun and then they come towards you. Look at this. It's like they know it's me. Oh, that guy with the loud noise maker. Let's go over to him. Let's see, look at that. But they're freaked out because the Canada geese are down the lake. Is that an awesome sight, guys? And that's not even all of them. There's a whole bunch down the lake. But see, they're coming into the bay here because they're, the Canada geese are down the other end and they're freaked out. Even though the Canada geese are like about a half a kilometer away. Okay, the ducks just freaked out. Doug was over on the uh, the left-hand side there, and the ducks got freaked out about something back here in the bush, right here. There's nothing here. Like, Doug just walked through that area, and I just fired off four rounds. Like, there's no way anything's here. Bizarre. And I know there's nothing there. Like, Doug just walked through there, and he was over there when the ducks freaked out. 
he really hates when the ducks freak out like that. He thinks uh, there's something wrong. He wants to. He, he basically, wherever they're rushing, they're freaking out. He rushes into the middle of it. It's like he's trying to see what's causing the problem. But he makes it worse because then the ducks freak out even more because they, he's running into the middle of the freak out. Oh, look, they're coming over to look at me. I think a lot of their freaking out guys is because of the, the snapping turtles this summer. They just get, you know, one panics because, I don't know, you know, maybe a fish rubs up against his foot or something. And then they all panic. I'm going to go and get my jobs done and then I can come out here and play with the ducks because I really want to come out here. I just brought the feed in I look up and there's these four ducks who are stranded in the pen and can't figure out how to get out of the pen. Man, some days you gotta wonder about ducks. The friends are down at the lake, and they're sitting in here, and they just—they're lost. I'll get duck to kick them out. Unbelievable! Holy man, there's a lot of duck poop in that uh, metal shed. I'm—I can't believe it actually. But these ducks are still in the pan. I can't get them to come out. They just refuse to leave the pen. And Doug's down in the swamp. It's actually been uh, hysterical here, guys. I'm, um, it's actually really, really good. What's happening, we all know Doug doesn't like crows. And what's happening here is the crows are flying around the yard, all grouping together like they usually do, and they hang around in the trees around the edge of the swamp. And that's driving Doug nuts. So all Doug's been doing is running down into the swamp, where he is right now, barking. Just blindly barking up in the sky at these uh, crows. Like, he's looking up. Look at him. Now he's smelling something but right now, but uh, that's all he's been doing. So it's like if there was something here and you've got a big dog charging down into the swamp barking, chances are it's not going to stay. Because he's not charging down there as an aggression. He's just blindly charging down there like a fool barking his head off at the sky with the crows. It's, it's, it's freaking hilarious, but it's really efficient actually. It means I don't have to shoot any shotgun shells off. I can't get, I tried to get the camera on fast, guys. I was like, but it was just, it was over by the time I got the camera even into my hands. It was hilarious. Just running like an idiot, barking his head off, charging down into the swamp with his fur up, like he was going to put a fixin' on the crows. I'm going down to the creek here because the ducks are hanging out in the creek, not even on the lake. So even if I wanted to be on the lake, actually, if I went on the lake right now, guys, the ducks would swim back down the creek and come home. <laughs> I saw walking. You saw walking, Doug? Is that how it works? You're just a Klingon. That's all you are. He's done an awesome job today, guys, running the, uh, the swamp barking. Uh, and it's all because of the crows. He's running down here like an idiot, barking. But, uh, you know, the coyote would know, uh, you know that he's running down for the, the uh, uh, crows. But he certainly wouldn't hang around because he doesn't jump in the creek, going across, running through the bulrushes like a maniac, trying to get out the clothes. Okay, look at all these ducks. Right at the mouth of the creek. Come on, ducks, get out there on the lake. <laughs> Hanging around exactly where they shouldn't be. Gotta be Canada geese. If you don't think it makes any sense, yeah, they're coming right back. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, this is getting re Oh, that, that really gets okay. I got a, a wrong spot here, guys. Okay, renegotiate uh, a new trail. I can't believe they've really drilled the crap out of this. Yep, they want to come right back up the creek here. There's gotta be Canada geese out there. I just can't see them. 
Because we know that's what freaks the ducks out. Panic ducks. I can hear them just a humming there around the corner. They're in the bay and they're upset that I'm making them stay down here in the water. But you know, dealing with Canada geese or dealing with coyotes, I'd rather be dealing with Canada geese. They don't eat the, the ducks. Might beat a duck up, but they're not going to eat it. Come on, duckies. Yeah, they're freaked out. Even if I wanted to uh, sit in my coyote uh, hideout, I couldn't do it today because the wind's coming from that direction. I'd actually, my scent would be all down here. Unless Mr. Coyote was totally focused on the ducks and he didn't care if he smelled me. You know, which is the way this coyote's been operating, I, I could see him coming right out because, you know, he's seen me in the yard and come right out and snatch a duck, so. He's got some massive ones. Anyways. I'm back to work. I'm not finished cleaning the barn. I got it cleaned out. I just got to put straw on now. I haven't even left yet. And look right there. What just snuck in behind me? I'm totally freaking the ducks out here. I'm out uh, in the boat, obviously, um, at the mouth of the creek here. And because I'm at the mouth of the creek, they're losing it. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.